making fabric straps for your yellowtail camisole. This is a bonus video in the Yellowtail Camisole Sew Along series by Disparate Disciplines. Can't find matching foldover elastic? Your local shop not selling it? Or do you just not want to use foldover elastic? Well, make fabric straps. In essence, we'll be making knit bias tape. First, cut out strips of your fashion fabric along the stretch. Because I have a clear 2 inch wide ruler, I'm making my strips of fabric 2 inches wide, but you could make them skinnier. I wouldn't advise making them much wider though, as you'll completely cover up the tip of the triangle at the back of your camisole. If you want to know how long your finished strip of fabric should be, see one of the previous sew along videos on measuring your fold over elastic. Chances are, your fabric won't be wide enough to cut out just one strip of fabric to form your straps. So, after you've cut out enough shorter straps, taking into account seam allowances, sew them together. To reduce bulk, I like to sew my strips together on the bias. Overlap the ends of the two strips together at a 90 degree angle. Stitch across the strips at a 45 degree angle. Then trim off your seam allowances and press them open. Now you have one long strip of fabric. Line it up with your camisole like you saw in the fold over elastic video. Find the middle of your strip, match that up with the center back, walk the strip along the back of your camisole until you reach one of the armholes. I like going towards the left. Now, you could apply your knit bias tape by stitching in the ditch so that no stitching line is seen on the back of the camisole, but you'd still have a visible stitching line on the straps themselves unless you sewed a blunt hand stitch, such as the ladder stitch, to keep the straps sewn shut. Now, I really do like to hand stitch, but not so much on a knit camisole. Instead, lining up the raw edges, I sew the right side of the strip to the wrong side of the camisole. My line of stitching is about 3 eighths of an inch from the raw edges of the fabrics, and while I'm stitching, I gently stretch out my knit bias tape, otherwise my camisole will stretch out. Then, without ironing, although you could iron to get more exact results, sew the strip to the front of the camisole. Starting at one end of the straps, fold the raw edges of the strip toward the center. Then fold it in half again so the raw edges are completely encased. It will look just like double fold bias tape. Then enclose the strap with a very narrow zigzag stitch along the edge. After that, keep sewing past the armholes and back all the way to the other end of the strap. Once that's done, iron the strap straight if they've stretched along the edge that was stitched. Finally, just like you saw in the fold over elastic video, try the camisole on. Pin the straps to the back of the camisole so they're comfortable and your bra straps are covered up. Then stitch them in place. Stitch your straps to the wrong side of the camisole in two places, along the line of stitching you made when sewing the knit bias tape down and at the very top edge of the camisole. That's it! If when trying your camisole on you have some fit issues, see the previous video on making bust adjustments to your yellow tail cami after it's been sewn. Or head over to the Disparate Disciplines forum for some help. That's all for now. Next up is hemming your camisole. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, pick up your yellowtail camisole at the Disparate Disciplines shop. It's a pay what you want pattern, so you set the price, be that free or however much you feel comfortable with. Half of all monies raised will go towards a charity for hunger in America.